Jives! Yes, sir! Oh, there you are. Hey, it's time to sing our traditional Irish song! All right! Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Do 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 do, the magically delicious. Top of the morning to you all. Welcome back to our vlog. I am Lord Felton Harcourt Osgood from the third. This is my butler Chimes. Hello. And Tuesday is Saint Patrick's Day. Yeah. Now I know what you're thinking. Felton, I've done the drink till I can't feel feelings thing anymore so many years in a row, I need a new way of celebrating. Mm -hmm. Well, fret no more, friends, for Chimes and I have some suggestions for you. Well, that's right, let's start with food. How about a nice traditional Irish meal of corned beef and cabbage? That doesn't look very natural. Oh, it's genetically modified. Science! Brilliant! Wait a minute, what if you're vegetarian? Oh, then you make corned potatoes and cabbage. That looks delicious. It does? Yes, and I think it would go excellent with some traditional St. Patrick's Day Gaelic bread. You can usually find it in the freezer section of your grocery store. Loads of times it's got an Italian flag on it. I'm not really sure why. That's because it's an import, sir. Ah. After dinner, it's time for games. And there's no sport more Irish than hurling. Sir, I thought you said you didn't want this episode to be about alcohol. No, no, hurling. I know. No, it's an Irish sport. You play it with a stick and a ball and a great big field. Oh, sir, that's baseball. No, hurling looks like this. It's been around for 3,000 years. Your mom's been around for 3,000 years. 900, you're very close. Anyway, if physical activity is not your bag, you and your friends could always have a limerick telling contest. Here's a few to get you started. There once was a man from Beirut who harvested trees by the root. One fateful day, one tree said, No way! Actually, he said, I am Groot. Ha! Huh. I've got one! Yeah? There once was a butler named Chives who was divorced by all six of his wives. He never was cruel, but when he fed them his gruel, they tended to break out in hives. Oh, uh -huh. um, on second thought, uh, maybe you shouldn't use that one. Even though it's completely fictitious and not true in any way, you should also avoid my cooking. Yeah. Just, you know. And no St. Patrick's Day would be complete without a few toasts. Mm -hmm. First off, you start by saying, I'd like everyone to raise their glasses. Or I'd like to raise a toast. Next, give a short, rousing or inspirational speech about something. For example, may the wind be ever at your back. Especially if you're a bloke and you're peeing outside. Or, may the sun rise warm upon your face, much like it does my backside on taco night. Oh, all right now. Curse yeah. and corn potato cabbage. Oh. I'm sensing a theme here. Oh, oh me too. Curse and corn potato cabbage is betraying me. Oh, God, pardon me, sir. It's boom boom time. I have a bloody stone on deck. I don't want to kiss that. So, there you have it. Plenty of ways to help you celebrate your Irishness. Or lack of Irishness. Or desire to have some Irishness. And don't forget to like the Ridiculous Puppet Company on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, I've been Lord Felton Harcourt Osgood from at the third. Avenge me! That was Chives, you've been the audience, I've been terrific, Bob's your uncle, and piss off. Okay, guess what? Time for birthdays. Are you surprised? I'm not. This is for the week of March 15th through the 21st. Happy birthday to Corey Lerbs. Happy birthday to Emily Cook. Happy birthday to Twee Rogers. Happy birthday to Lauren Lenzen. Happy birthday, Christy Nydeck. Happy birthday, Susie Becker. Happy birthday, Kelly Jo Holt. And happy birthday to Zach Fink. You okay? I am. Um... I pooped the cabbage. <sighs> but it with the rest of them. Very good, sir. <laughs>